The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to cover some other things that uh, uh, that are important. Well, everything's important, but this is one on natural gas. This is the daily. I want you to notice here what we're looking at here is strong support. You notice that we're coming down now. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down into a smaller time frame to try to find a pattern that will line up to tell us that yes, maybe this would be something that we get interested in. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the four hour chart and we're gonna bring it up and this is how I set up a trade. Most of you already know how I do this, but there's the four hour chart. You can see uh, the uh, ABCD up here at the top. Okay, and now you see the corrections that we had. There's a 382 here, 382 here. You can see the market coming down and it's getting really close to this level right here, isn't it? Now, the 50% didn't hold it. The 61% didn't hold it. And will the 78% level hold it? Well, there was no ABCD here. And there was no ABCD right here. So we want to find out if there's going to be something right at that spot that's going to give us an idea that, yeah, maybe we can take that risk. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down with our little tiny microscope that I got from uh, Louis Pasteur when I helped him solve the, uh, what did he do, infections? I like Pasteur because he said, chance favors the prepared mind. That's one of my favorite uh, quotes. Okay, here we are with a hourly chart now from four hour to the hourly. And now you see, guess what we have, folks? We have a beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern. Look at the symmetry here. A, B, C, D, right in here. Guess what this is? This is the 78% level that we saw on the chart. So now, do we have the 78? Plus, we've got A, B, C, D coming in right here. You can't ask for anything better. This is a picture of the wheat market, folks. And we all saw what wheat market. Wheat, wheat went from 604 uh, all the way up to uh, five, uh, 653, uh, almost 50 cents in, uh, in two days. So anyway, that's what we're going to be watching here tomorrow. So that'll be something that I'll put on the video tonight and say, okay, this is something that if you like natural gas. And natural gas trades a lot, folks. I mean, huge. It's in the neighborhood of crude oil. So this is not uh, this is not something to take lightly. It's it's the real the real thing. And it's good swings, great stops. Uh, I mean, it, it's 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 a real it's a real event. So if you haven't traded natural gas before. Uh, I would take a look at it because, uh, well, first of all, these patterns don't work all the time, but when they do, they work pretty good. Now, here's that same pattern in the wheat. I'm just going to get up. It's, the only difference is, is one is wheat and the other is natural gas. But you'll see here, there it is. There's your, there's your drive one right here, drive two right here, drive three right here. There's your ABCD. Bada bing, bada boom. It's went off the top of the chart. Went up to 653 today, folks. Straight up. I mean, that part of that, of course, may be short covering, but that's neither here nor there. That's where it went to. So let's uh, let's keep an eye on that, too, for the next couple of days, because a little pullback tells us it would most probably be getting ready to be a uh, buyer. Now, I'm going to repeat a couple things here. Paula Webb will be my guest again here in a little bit. But uh, this is the one you want to focus on, folks. I keep knocking on the door here, but this is the kind of door you like to have, believe it or not. Uh, this happens to be the euro on the weekly chart. And we'll get it up here so you can see it. Uh, there it is. So we've hit it three times in the last few days. The exact 61% retracement of the high going back here a little over a year ago. Look at the beautiful patterns on the way down. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D there again is the three drive 
to a bottom pattern. Folks, the three drive to the bottom pattern is my go-to pattern when I have a really bad run of luck. And luck is when you're not prepared. I understand that. And I do have those. So when I have trade, when I trade poorly, which I more often than I'd like to admit, the thing that I like to go to is to go right back into that three drive to a bottom or three drive to a top. And the reason is, is when you get to this spot right here, all your decisions have been made. You buy it and you risk a small amount because if it goes beyond there, that 1.618 level, you flat out wrong, and you have zero chance of picking up any bread on that one. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves of that. Okay. So there's what we're watching right here in the euro. Now looking at this on a shorter time frame, I keep repeating myself, but repetition is the mother of knowledge and the father of invention. Let's get this up here so you'll be able to see it. This is it on the uh, four-hour chart because then you can see about six weeks of data in here. There we are. Look at You can see I didn't do all the ABCDs in here, but there's they're all in here. But I just did the main one because that tells us we're up into this area. We've hit it once, twice, three, and now today it hit it again, and now it's reversed quite a bit. We're back down into this level right here. So this is telling us, but if we do get above there, if we go smashing above it and we close above it, that is going to be extremely bullish. Now, remember the S&P when we were at that uh, 4206 level uh, on uh, th uh, the 26th uh, last Wednesday? How long was it there, folks? Get your stopwatch out. It wasn't there more than two minutes. That meant that that was not a breakout. That was just stops getting hit and those stops are protected i mean no one's out looking for those stops but they that's where the market will go to and if there's nothing there it reverses and of course you know the market reversed so that's what you want to do if it breaks out to the upside and if it does then you got to say all right this thing could go a long way and you don't want to stand in front of it that's the that's the main thing now let's go back and talk about crude oil here because this is a, something that very unusual happened here in the crude oil last night because the market dropped after the market uh, was in the secondary market uh, in the evening. We dropped from dropped four dollars a barrel, folks, to take out the lows here of March, okay, by just a little bit, and then it reversed, and it reversed all the way up from 64 up to 69 and jumped five dollars a barrel. Hey, after it's down so much, you expect it to be down. But the thing was, if you believe in the 3A2, which we do, I want to bring up the 3A2 here now in the uh, that in the crude oil, and you'll be able to see it stopped right at the 3A2 level right here, and now it's going. This gives us a price objective up here, uh, which is quite a bit higher, but uh, $10.00 off the bottom but at least it hit the exact 3A2 now if this fails then all bets are off and we're going to be going down but right now that hit it and rallied two dollars a barrel or two thousand dollars so very very important to follow the patterns when they work and when they don't work don't follow them go look at something else let's take a break 877-927-6648 Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C -c Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've put up a chart here of a three-minute chart in the S&P. Someone asked the question, do these patterns work on any time frame? And the answer is yes, because Mandelbrot, when he talked about his fractal analysis, which he's the father of, everything depends on this A, B, C, D pattern. All you have here is a smaller A, B, C, D pattern coming in right here, and that forms another A, B, C, D. D to the upside. That's really what you're, that's all you're following. There's other A, B, C, Ds in here, but I just wanted to show you the really clear ones. That's what you're supposed to look at when you're trading is find the ones that are very, very easy to see and put those on. Right now, there's not too much that's easy to see in here. Sure, there's some A, B, C, Ds, but they're not clear like these are. So that's why you want to focus on that, okay? Very, very important. At least from my perspective, that's uh, that's the way I uh, try to try to look at things. So I don't really have anything more to say than that. Uh, I've been asked to uh, talk just a tiny bit uh, more about that uh, German DAX uh, tra trade that was up here uh, earlier today, and then I'll also do the FTSE since we're going to be doing these again. Paula Webb will be my guest at the break, but here is the. Uh, this is the German DAX. Tom Hugard trades this uh, every day. You can see the A, B, C, D patterns that are here. This one comes in right at the 61% retracement. Then the market goes up and makes a very strong A, B, C, D. Stops right there. And, and look how often it stays there, folks. It stays there for well over several hours. That's either distribution or it's... Uh, distribution or accumulation and this one was distribution the reason why you know that is if you take a look at the four minute chart you'll see that the market had a very substantial break to the downside in typical ABCD 
there's your A, B, C, right at your 61, and then down, and then you had a very good rally. In fact, this rally right here stopped right at the 61% retracement was equal to this rally right here. In other words, if you measured it up to there and moved it over and measured it here and moved it over, it would stop right at the 61% retracement. So that's how you start to look at them uh, intraday. I, I just try to prepare the trades that I'm trying to find. And when I put those on, those are the ones that I try to uh, I try to look at. And I have to re – I'm going to bring this chart up here because I think the chart here that Jeff sent us uh, on the Dow Jones E-mini is extremely important. And I want to bring it to your attention again. Here it is is what we're looking at. There is the one three. Five pattern, folks. This was given to me by uh, Roy Longstreet and his son Bill. All I did was help them with the ratios. They watch the time from this high to this high to this high is where you would expect the market to reverse, and that's exactly what's happened. Now, what's happened here? You see, we had this big up move, then the down move, then the up move. So everybody that's bought it here in the last two days is now sitting underwater. So all the market has to do is to close sharply lower today or tomorrow, and they're going to trap a lot of people, and that's going to make the market accelerate to the downside. And you can see here, after point three, there's point one, there's point three, there's point five, there's where the big drop happened. Now, if this drop equals that one, you're talking serious money down in here. Of course, that will lead to what we think will be a very, very bullish scenario uh, on a longer term basis. Now let's look at another one that uh, CB told us. Uh, just Chuck was kind enough to send us this chart. This is the SPY, and this is not. Uh, this was earlier this morning, and it is not. Uh, it's rallied, of course, from there, but it's done a perfect A B C D pattern. That's exactly what it's done. And uh, remember, this is the cash S and P. So it was perfect. It stopped, went down below these lows by just a little bit and stopped. This makes we get really strong today, folks. We're going to go higher. And that's the whole key is to watch it because if it does that, it's going to go a lot higher, not just a little bit higher, but a lot higher, probably way above that 4206 that we saw on Friday. Very, very important to uh, pay attention to that. I wanted to uh, go over one other thing, and that is that gold trade uh, that I did yesterday because uh, it was absolute perfect trade. It, well, it was, even though that it didn't make any near near what it could have been if I'd have been a buyer of the pullback. But uh, there was the number, and the market backed all the way down into this level right here. We backed off uh, $17. That's one half the harmonic number. And then, folks, it took off. We got up to here right near the close. And then right after the close, they went into the overnight session. And this thing jumped, went up to 2081. That was $16 higher than my 78% level. But I had taken some profits here. And then I'd moved my stop to 41. I figured if it got to 2041 late in the day, it probably wasn't going to break anymore. So my second one only made a few bucks on. But on the first one, I did relatively too, uh, relatively okay, and I trade too. Sometimes I'll take scalp them off. Sometimes I'll take one off, but I'm here to make money. And if I think it's time and I make a decision, I try to find the ones that line up the best, and those are the ones that I try to do. That's, uh, that's neither here nor there, so I hope that helps because I am far from infallible. As a matter of fact, there's, there's just no question about that. Let's uh, take a look here at one market that is extremely weak, and they just keep beating it up, and they beat it up again today here, and that is the Russell 2000, which is the uh, small cap. This is one of the reasons why that banking index is so bad, because these are, come from the regional banks. These are the stocks that the regional banks lend money to, and as you can see here, uh, we, we're, our, we're our, way down below here already, folks. We got down to this level. Whether we're going to close there or not, I don't know. But look at this. We hit the 382, one, two, three times over a three-week period, and it couldn't get one tick above it. Boy, if that wasn't telling you that the market was weak. The S&P, it went higher. So did the, Nas so did the NASDAQ, and so did the Dow Jones, but not the Russell. And the Russell is the second 
most actively traded. You got the S&P 500 first e-mini and then you got the Russell e-mini then you have the Nasdaq e-mini and then you have the Dow Jones e-mini that's why when you're watching these things you got to determine which one you're going to be looking at take a look at the price of uh, Microsoft folks MSFT that thing is only down three or four dollars from its high I mean that's nothing I mean that that's a tremendous uh, tremendous move here uh, and, and and no follow through to the uh, to, to the downside. So, uh, and I think Microsoft. I know uh, Apple has their earnings out uh, today. And of course, uh, I think 80 out of 80 percent of the time when the earnings come out, that stock gaps up. But the 20 percent that it doesn't, that's a big thing to to remember here. So stay tuned. We're going to have Paul and Douglas as our guests tomorrow. Will be Mike Moore of More Analytics. So we'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, proud to say that we have Paula T. on the line again. Paula Tomasini Webb Douglas. <laughs> PT, tell me tell me the Tomasini part. I, I call, I've been calling her PT since... Uh, Oh my gosh! I don't. Uh, I can't. I spent so many years. I I can't even remember. Where, Since I was Tom, born. 
<laughs> yeah, well, since you were born, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Being the teenager that you are. Now, where does the tent Tomasini, is that your... Uh... Well, Tom Tomasina was my mother's name, and it's also my middle name. And, I know that, yeah. Uh, I, I, there was one time when my mother was over, and you were you were in town, and you said, hey, Tomasini, and I, you may not remember, but my mother and I both looked at you and said, what? <laughs> <laughs> and my mom was like, yeah. wait, it's Thomasina. And anyway, it was a big joke between my mother and I, and she thought it was really sweet that, that you uh, had that kind of affectionate yeah. nickname for me. So she appreciated that. Yeah, well, you've... Uh... Folks, uh, Paula and Mark has entertained my family for uh, Christmas and Easter and Thanksgiving for so many years. Well, all the years we've been here to, together here uh, in, uh, in Arizona and also uh, in California. But, BT, I don't know. I was just thinking about when we first met. Uh, I was walking along Michigan Avenue. I, I hadn't known you more than two days, and I was bucks up on a trade. I don't remember which one it was, and probably an air trade. But anyway, I had, I had lots of money in my pocket, and I stopped at a Louis Vuitton store to buy you a, a purse because you kept saying you want the Louis Vuitton purse. And and I had no idea these things cost like $800, you know, so you said one at 800 So I bought you this purse, and uh, I, I don't know if you still have it or not, but by golly. I, Absolutely. I, I, Absolutely. I, I, said, I still have it. I walked it. in, and, I, and I was, I, when you were so happy to get it, I said, oh, okay, it was worth it. But I'm not kidding you, Paul. I had I had uh, repercussions and second thoughts of that for weeks. <laughs> $800 for a leather purse? Are you kidding me? My mother would have rolled over in her grave. But I know. Anyway, that's a, well, we've, we've had some fun through the years, that's for sure. Anyway, t t here's a question I have for you. A person wants to start trading. Of course, they won't start with the psychology part, which is the most important. But if you if someone called you and said, I want to be a trader, what would you tell them, Paula? And you, get those, you probably get these calls all the time, don't you? Well, yes, I do, as a matter of fact. And... Obviously, one of the things I ask them right away is if they have a, a methodology, if they have a good platform or, you know, a system, um, I kind of go through the, the nuts and bolts of it first. And if they don't have a methodology, obviously, as you know, Larry, I refer them over to you uh, for some, some training, uh, you know, hopefully. And um, most of the time they have a good platform. I would say probably 80% of the time they don't have a system and a lot and the, and the trouble is that a lot of new traders they want to create their own system but since they don't really know anything about trading it's really difficult for them to understand how to create a system so yeah. and I kind of usually try to talk them out of that but gently but um, and then the other thing of course I just tell them you know you need to at least read at least one of our books, whether it's the Discipline Trader or Trading in the Zone, and um, if they really don't know that much about the markets, then you know our third book, The Complete Trader, because that that kind of gives you the background on how the markets work together. It talks about you know price action, volume, open interest, price movement, all of that, because most of today's traders, if they're younger than let's say 40. They grew up on computer games and video games, so they are convinced that trading is just a computer game that they're they're going to attempt to beat. So yeah. that that's a, a really big misconception these days. That's so sure. that's that's kind of the overview of what I try to impart to them. How would a person purchase that book? Uh, do you have it online, or is it hard copy, or how how, do, how would they buy it? Uh, well, all of our books are on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Obviously, okay. if they want a, uh, a personally signed copy by Mark Douglas, I still have some in inventory. Those are a little more pricey, of course, but um, they, they, they were signed by him personally, so I do have some of those. Yeah. But yeah, all of our books are on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. And if, and if you have any trouble, you know, purchasing it or whatever, or they're out of stock, just, you know, contact me. Let yeah, me the know. Best way to, the best way to contact you is? PaulaTWeb.com or 760-636-4290. I'm in the office seven days a week for you guys. <laughs> 
And you've anybody who calls me from Larry's way, show gets the years family and you. friends discount. <laughs> That's, you know that, that you know we're really lucky though because we get to do what we like to do, and uh, yeah. and, and what I think Confucius said: find a job that you uh, really enjoy doing, and you're on vacation the rest of your life. And of course, we've been had that, and we've traveled so many places together. Uh, it's just just it's been really really great. One other question I had here: uh, this is from somebody in Wichita, Kansas, and he said he has a problem with his relatives saying that he is nothing more uh, than a gambler, that he should be right. playing blackjack or because it's something like that. And I, I tried to give him my what, – what would, how would you respond to that? Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, you can't convince anybody who's not a trader that what you're doing is a worthwhile business adventure. Yeah. You're not going to be able to convince them of that because they have no concept of what trading is about. Second of all, I know you'd love for your families to support you, but you knew that going into it, so you're just going to have to not talk about trading. You know, call yourself yeah. an investor, which which they can understand, and you can yeah. say, "Well, I'm investing in in our financial future, yeah. and this is how I'm going to do it." You don't have to go into great detail; just say, "I am investing in our financial future," and and that may that may help. Well, I've tried everything else. I always tried people that, uh, hey, we've got Jeff from uh, New Jersey on the line. Jeff, you have a question for Paula? Uh, hi, Larry. Thanks for uh, taking my call. Uh, I wanted to uh, tell Paula about a uh, psychological uh, aid that I came up with for myself that made a big improvement uh, to my training, and I, I wanted to see what uh, Paula thought about it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the problem that I was having is that when I'm in a trade, I'm completely focused on the trade and I have trouble, um, observing myself, um, to catch myself from doing something I don't want to do, like breaking one of my rules or taking the type of trade I don't want to take, but you know, I did in my past. So, um, my, my problem is just I, I don't have a big enough brain to focus on my trade and to observe what I'm doing at the same time. And then when the trade's over and I lose money, then I realize, oh, what did I do that for? That was stupid. But if I could realize it before I took the trade, that would be better. So what I did was I, I started a log, and the log has why I'm entering the trade and also why I'm exiting the trade. And so... What that did for me is that when I'm, oh, are we breaking? Jeff, yeah, I want you to stay with us. We got another, okay. so we want to, want to continue with your trick for trading. This is important. We'll be right back, folks, with Jeff and Paula T. Tomasini, Webb Douglas, on the line. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Paul T. Webb and also with uh, Jeff out of New Jersey, and he has a continue on with your trick to get you to do the right thing. That, yeah. I like that idea. Okay, thanks. Um, right, so what I did is I, I started a log which in which I would record why I entered a trade and why I exited a trade. And what effect that had is that when I went to do the trade, it you know, I was mindful that I had to fill in that log, and that triggered me to think about what I'm doing. <laughs> so good. if I uh, didn't want to take a particular kind of trade that I used to take, when I went to take, the, you know, I saw the opportunity on the chart, and I went to take the trade, and then it's like, all right, what am I going to put in the log? It's like, oh, my God, I'm going to take one of these trades again. I only want to, so I, it, it prevented me. And then also, in exiting a trade, um, sometimes I would exit due to fear and not realize it until I was out. I, I, my brain, you know, would come up with a, a good excuse to get out. But when I was out, I was like, you know what? I exited early. I didn't want to exit out early. But when I started keeping that log, when I went to exit, it's like, okay, what am I going to put in my log while I'm exiting? It's like, you know what? I don't have a good reason. I don't have a valid reason for exiting, and I would not. That's and good. I would hold on That's longer <clears throat> until I hit my target. So that was, it's been a really good uh, aid in, in being mindful about what I'm doing and avoiding, uh, you know, breaking my rules and, and making mistakes. So well, I wanted to see you what solved you your own problem. To, that's the, main, the best way to do it because that sounds good to me. Yeah, I mean, this is something that Mark and I have been teaching since we did our first workshops in the early 1990s. And as a matter of fact, we, you know, we used to sell our daily trading journal. Uh, to help traders understand the the benefits of, of keeping not just track of your trades, but you have to keep track of what you're thinking. And yeah. if you don't know what you're thinking, then then you can't be effective as a trader. Yeah. So, you know, keeping keeping that journal, that's yeah. good. That's really good. Way to go. Yeah. Speaking Glad of journals, I want to make sure you. I wasn't um, hurting myself in any way, you know, by, by doing that, like de de detracting from... From paying attention, oh, you're, you know, you're reinforcing what you should be doing, and that's exactly what you want to do. You did the exact right thing. Absolutely. Great. Great. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, thanks. Yeah. That's uh, thanks for the confirmation. Job. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, speaking of that event, uh, Paul T., if you remember, Robert St. John, one of the three biggest bond traders in Chicago, uh, who happened to be – they worked together for so long, they became very good friends, Mike, uh, Mark, and, uh, and Robert. And Robert – was the greatest trader for the first hour of the day. You remember that, Paula? He would, he yeah. would, he would make two or three million dollars in the first hour, and then he would give back two million dollars the last five or six hours of trading. And Mark yeah. worked, worked with him for a year, and they finally made him convinced you only work one hour a day. 
He says, well, that doesn't sound fair. He says, well, you make all your money in one hour. What do you want to do the rest of the time? You know, just walk around the board of trade, go buy a hot dog or do something. And once he started working one hour a day, he was consistent as heck. He was just really good for that one hour, which was the opening hour, which was the time to be, you know, trading. But that was the big deal. He only worked an hour a day. Right. Boy, yeah, he, he, he went from <laughs> he went from his uh, brokerage firm about ready to kick him out. He had two mortgages on his homes, and in in within one year he was up three four million. Yeah, and paid everything off. I I, re, I remember yeah. that uh, very very much. And then he later yeah, on just became trading a, one hour. Yeah, I know. Well, listen, sweetie, I want you to uh, hang in there because we're, we're, like we said on the other part of the show, we're going to be doing something together here in Arizona. Uh, it's going to be a co called the Friends and Family Trading. We're going to trade live money, and the, we're going to give the money back to the people that uh, if we make any. And if we don't, uh, you'll have to track me down in Mexico because I'll be on my way. No, <laughs> we'll have some fun. Uh, we did this uh, in 1999 and we for three days, and we were very successful, so we're going to do it again. I think we should resurrect it after 24 years, and we'll get Rich Anderson to help us, and also uh, Mr. Z, and maybe I'll even get somebody else. If I can get Byron out here to give us a little philosophy and stuff, would be good. But uh, Paula will be talking to us about the psychology of the stuff, right out of the words of the master himself. Yeah, the new so. age of psych the new age of trading psychology. That sounds good. I like that. A lot so, of new material. Yeah. So that 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 book. Uh, can be bought at uh, Amazon or Barnes Any and Noble. Any of our books, Amazon and Barnes okay. and Noble, or okay. give my office a call. And okay. anybody who wants any services through me, coaching or a one-on-one -on -one workshop, you know, you get the, the friends and family discount from the Larry Show. There you go, one percent, right off the top. <laughs> yeah. No, hey, listen. Thank you, Paula T, for joining us, dear. And we'll talk to you soon. We'll get uh, get. We'll get cracking on uh, this thing for September or October, probably around October 1st would be uh, exactly. some because that's before the snowbirds get here and it'll be real easy right. to get in and out and everything. So we'll we'll get it done. Hey, thanks for joining us, dear. OK, anytime. You bet. Stay well. You bet. OK, Paula T. I just, uh, no, hold on one second here. I don't hold on. Let me get this next chart up here that I want to talk about, because this is the most important chart. We're having a little bit of bounce here towards the mid afternoon here in the market. But this thing really looks bad, folks. This is the one you got to be. Uh, they're telling you lies and the lies. You're going to see it right here uh, there. This is the regional banking index from the NASDAQ. Uh, these the, the small cap regional banks. Look at that. Something's wrong, folks. They, they're telling us now that these three banks that we had, uh, Silicon Valley, uh, uh, Signature Bank, and then also the Federal Bank out of Los Angeles. Uh, I don't know what the name of the bank was. FRB, but yeah, Federal Reserve Bank out of Los Angeles, and uh, th this something Republic Bank. Sorry, but uh, they're they're not ha telling you the truth. Every one of these stocks is down today. All fifty of them. Now, something's there, folks, because there's more sellers than buyers. The market's going down, so pay attention to that. And you know, our market doesn't look that good either after that chart. That in fact, Jeff was just on the line, and that chart that he shows you. You know, if, if, if this is halfway uh, even close to being right, you're looking at some pretty serious corrections here uh, in the uh, in the old stock market here today. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. OK, look at this. This three drive. Look at that. Or one, three, five pattern. The price objective is, you know, taking out the October lows and look how quickly it can come down with news like this. All it takes is another couple of banks here and there. There were three or four of them today. They're down 30, 40 percent. That's not good. How'd you like to be a stockholder? In those? I wouldn't even want to be a, 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 a what do you call it, a depositor, for heaven's sakes, even though they're supposed to be guaranteed to uh, whatever, I think it's whatever value you have in there. That's what they said. Hey, we've got to take a break here, I think, to uh, pay a few bills. And when, when we get back, and when we get back, we will talk about the euro one more time because the euro to me is the key to the whole thing of what's going on in the euro because if it can get above those numbers that we'll post here when we come back from the break 
that'll tell us that, uh uh-oh, money talks and BS walks, and what we have to do is to follow that. But it's got to close and close strong above that 111. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, for the last time today, I posted the chart of the euro versus the U.S. dollar. This, to me, is the key to what's going on because this is the money moving the US dollar index 53% of it is the euro itself you know we're looking at what 29 countries in Europe all of them with different currencies and stuff but they go by the euro uh, with all their different uh, I forget what those little coins are. They, <laughs> some of them don't even use coins anymore I don't believe but anyway that's where the real key lies I believe now the euro uh, right now has uh, had a uh, had a pretty big break uh, to the downside, and uh, we've gone from uh, well, we haven't even been able to rally up to a to a 382 retracement yet today. The fact is, I ought to just bring this up so you folks can all see it together, because this is what we're watching, and uh, this could be a really big move, folks. Uh, and and again, it might it might fail. So 
what we're going to do now is I'm going to put that 382 in here just to show you that sometimes these things line up just the way you like to see them. And here we go. We'll get it up here. Take a quick look at it. Oh, dear. I know we can switch this over easy enough. And there it is. But remember, if it gets back above that level, then it's good. But see, you've come down and you made your ABCD on the day. There's your ABCD and then the rally back. It's been right up to the 382. So what we want to be watching now is to see if this is going to be uh, just like gold. Remember, gold backed off a little bit and then went blasting above it. Well, the key level is up in here. This is at this 111 level. Close above 111, it's lights out U.S. dollar. I mean, it's going to be in big, big trouble. I mean, it's, <laughs> it has no friends at all above that 111. That means U.S. dollar is going to be above below par. Hey, take a break. See you tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.